Okay, I'll call this meeting of the Planning and Zoning Commission to order at uh, uh, 433. Uh, item number one on the agenda, election of new officers in accordance with Article 11-1-22A62 uh, of the City of Kerrville Zoning Code. The Commission so each year at its first regular meeting of the new year elect a chair and vice chair from among the regular members. The commission may elect such other officers as it deems necessary uh, from the membership. Uh, okay. Uh, would you go ahead, Dorothy, and call the roll? Yes, sir. Bob Waller? Here. Don Barnett? Here. Garrett Harmon? Here. Doyle Malone? Here. Bill Morgan? Rustin Zuber? Here. Bonnie White? Here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, my, my fault. You're okay. I had to write that out up here for me. <laughs> okay, uh, under election of new officers, uh, first let me ask, do you see the necessity to have anything other than a chair and a vice chair? I don't see any need for other, anything other than that. Okay, I don't think we need a secretary treasurer. We don't deal with, they don't give us any rights to deal with money. Okay, uh, I'll open the floor for uh, nominations for uh, chair. I'll nominate you. Yeah, you're sitting in it. Yeah. I'll second. Okay, I have a motion uh, and a second to elect Bob Waller as chair. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Same sign. Passes 5 0. Okay, do I have a nominee for vice chair? How about Harmon? I'll second that. So we have a motion and a second uh, for Garrett Harmon uh, to be the vice chair. All in favor, aye. Aye. All aye. opposed, same sign. <coughs> Thank you. Now we have our officers. Uh, th these are just one year terms? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, item number two, visitor citizens forum. Any person with business not scheduled on the agenda is encouraged to briefly speak their ideas to the commission. Please fill out the speaker request form and give it to the commission secretary uh, prior to the meeting. The number of speakers will be limited to the first 10 speakers, and each speaker is limited to three minutes. No formal action can be taken on these items as the Open Meetings Act requires formal action items be posted on an agenda no later than 72 hours before the meeting. If formal action is required, the items will be placed on an agenda for a future meeting. Uh, number three, the consent agenda. All items listed below in the consent agenda are considered routine or ministerial in nature and will be enacted with one motion. There will be no separate discussion of items unless a commissioner or citizen so requests, in which case the item or items will be removed from the consent agenda and considered separately. Uh, item 3A. Approval of the minutes uh, from the December 17th, 15 meeting. It's on page two of your packet. If you've had a chance to read these, I'll accept a motion. I move that we approve the minutes from our last meeting. I second. Okay. I have a motion and a second. Any additions or changes? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Thank you. Okay, number four, public hearings in action. Um, uh, Trent, you wanna yes, walk, sir. walk us through that? I'd be more than happy to do that. Uh, first of all, before we go ahead and do that, uh, we have a Member Rustin Zuber, who'd like to go ahead and recuse himself from the following item. Okay. Um, Thank you. Let's know that he's stepped down from 
dice, and he's moved down to the audience. Okay, thank you. All right, item 4A on the agenda is located at 1220 Jefferson Street. Um, the request, uh, they're requesting a conditional use permit to enlarge a non-conforming use. Um, it was originally by 2,800 square feet, which was amended to 2,400 square feet. Beyond that, which is permitted by the zoning code. Uh, staff did mill out 30 notices to property owners within 200 feet. Zero came back in favor. Uh, zero came back in opposition. Uh, staff did receive uh, various phone calls. Uh, just more, edu they wanted some education on what was going on, kind of understand uh, why they received a notice in the mail. But I didn't really receive anything that was alarming, um, just more inquisitive than anything else. Um, the current property uh, is current, uh, the currently the existing use is not permitted by right, which is a daycare center in the R1A zoning district. However, the existing daycare is considered a legal non-conforming use and has met all the criteria in Chapter 1 the, uh, city, uh, the City of Kerrville Zoning Code, Article 11-1-16. Uh, the daycare use was established prior to the zoning ordinance being adopted in 1997-1985 and has been in operation since 1976. Consistency in both the uh, zoning district and the future land use plan is irrelevant regarding the subject pro property and the, and the existing non-conforming use. The request uh, conditional use permit will have little impact on the surrounding properties. Although the majority of the surrounding properties are zoned for low density residential, there are various properties in close proximity with uh, established commercial uses. Um, this use has been around in 1976 from the phone calls I received and from the analysis I've drawn. There is pretty accustomed to having this daycare center in this area. Um, the only concern was the speed in front of the structure. Um, we have contacted the streets department regarding that and they're looking at um, if there's something that they can actually do but once again I don't believe that is from the daycare center I believe that is an ongoing problem that's been consistent on Jefferson between Lytle and Aransas, uh, Aransas Street. Uh, the subject uh, staff has had no indication of likely adverse effects on the public health safety and welfare um, due to the conditional use permit once again uh, I, staff does not believe the 2400 square feet will be a major impact on the surrounding area. Uh, from the conditional use permit, the con a conditional use permit does require a site plan to be submitted. In your packets, you did receive a conditional use uh, permit site plan. Um, after, the, after we mailed out the packets, staff did receive an amended site plan that I'd like to go ahead and pass out today uh, to the commissioners. Thank you. The main difference between the, uh, the proposed site plan that's in your pack and the amended is on the amended, uh, it does show parking requirements as, as mandated in the conditional use permit site plan. Um, they do meet the parking requirements. Um, we just want to keep in mind that this process, that the conditional use permit will be required to meet all development regulations as well as uh, permits required for any sort of expansion. Uh, they will not be excluded from those requirements. Uh, the applicant is very well aware of that. Um, another reason why they decided to go, instead of 2,800 square feet, 2,400 square feet, there's some trees they'd like to preserve uh, to keep the site, um, as much vegetation on the site that's natural as they can. Um, once again, the proposed uh, conditional use permit meets all the criteria in both Article 11-113 conditional use permits and Article 11-1-16 non-conforming use of the uh, city of Kerrville zoning code. Um, with this motion, uh, or with this request, staff does recommend uh, the following conditions. Hours of operation be limited Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., and that was actually proposed by the applicant, uh, those hours, but we'd like that as part of the resolution and uh, part, of the, part of our recommendation. Um, in this area, it's generally single family residential. There are some uh, down the street on Jefferson Street uh, there is a church um, located down there across the street from Aransas. Um, there, are, there is multi-family. 
Um, it's, it's a little bit further away than the required 200, uh, 200 feet that we mail out notices to. However, we just wanted to give you an overall encompassed look of what's actually going on around that. Um, from these other images, it just shows that single family, but if you kind of broaden out, you can see the uses definitely change as you get a little bit further out. Um, there are a couple, of, uh, there is another daycare center in the vicinity. Um, and once again, staff does recommend approval with the, uh, with the amendment of 2,400 square feet expansion and the hours of operation. And if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Does this require a public hearing? Uh, yes, sir, it does. Okay. Okay, well, I'll open a public hearing at uh, 447. Public hearing in consideration of resolution concerning a requested conditional use permit to enlarge a non conforming use by 2,800 square feet beyond that which is permitted by the zoning code for an approximate. Uh, 0.83 acres tract. Legal description, block 74, lot 7, dash 9, Joseph A. Tybee edition, located at 1220 Jefferson Street North, northeast of Jefferson Street North, between Gilmer Street North and Ross Street North, file number 2015-063. And Mr. Waller, we just want to reiterate that this was amended uh, from 2,800 square feet down to 2,400 to square 24. feet. Um, the reason why we have to leave it as 2800, that's how it was advertised. And it was after the fact that we have it, uh, it's been amended to 2400 square feet. So we just want to make sure that that is clear. Then if, if you're, you going, make a motion, you're going smaller, there's not a problem. Uh, they, they are going smaller. Um, okay. The expansion is going smaller than what it was originally proposed. Any, I guess anyone wishing to uh, make any comments in regard to this public hearing? Uh, you need to step forward at the podium. Give us your name and address. Not seeing none, this uh, public hearing closes at uh, uh, 449. Okay, uh, what questions or comments do we have from the commissioners? None. Well, seeing as it's been established, there since 1976 and probably offers a pretty valuable need to the community. I don't see anything that um, would cause any great concern. It looks, my original concerns, looks, parking has been addressed. Um, if I, I could see, you know, with an increase in students and parents, there might be an increase in traffic, but if, uh, if the neighbors are okay with it, then that seems to make sense to me. Well, I think uh, this was a former uh, YMCA daycare center, mm -hmm. and they've had, uh, it's been totally full of traffic. I don't think it's ever been a real problem. Mm -hmm. Problem. That's there. good. Uh, do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. We accept this as presented. Okay, I have a motion. Mr. Barnett, do I have a second? Do we need to include the uh, hours of operation? Well, we'll in, yes, we'll include with that the staff recommendation that the hours of operation be Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 6, 6 p.m. And, and that the proposed expansion uh, will be required to fully comply with all applicable codes, regulations, and ordinances. I'll second that motion. Hey, I've got a second. And are you including the 2,400 square feet amendment? Expansion of going down from 2,800 to 2,400? Yeah, add to the amendment uh, also that the addition, proposed addition, uh, was reduced from 2,800 square feet to 2,400 square feet. And uh, parking was identified as adequate. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Pass. All, all opposed, same sign. Passes for nothing. Uh, staff reports. Um, at this time, we don't, uh, it's what we've talked about previously. Now that we have a new chair and vice chair, um, I'll be meeting with uh, the chair, uh, trying to find a time 
to meet with all of you to go over that training. Um, just kind of bit answer basic questions, kind of go over your roles as planning and zoning commissioners. Um, once again, and I would also like to all, uh, thank all of you for serving as uh, commissioners in this, uh, this group. And we'd like to go ahead and welcome Mr. John Barnett uh, for taking his time and, um, and sacrificing valuable time to come and meet with us, as well as Dwayne Malone, who has been on an alternate for many years and who is now serving as a full time member of Planning Zone Commission. Just want to go ahead and thank you for that. Do we have another alternate other than um, right now we don't have an alternate um, city council at the last meeting uh, made a motion to uh, review applications and choose the alternate at a later time but they are in the process of reviewing applications meeting with them and uh, deciding who that alternate will be so I am the lone alternate at the moment you are sir yes pressure's on <laughs> um, sure well. regarding uh, potential future discussions with this commission regarding annexation of city property. Is there anything that this commission, I mean as far as zoning, would be required to do uh, once new property is annexed by the city or is that handled by you uh, specifically? It will come before you. Uh, any new annexation will come before Planning Zoning Commission for um, address, uh, assigning a zoning designation to the property um, and a future land use designation as part of the comprehensive plan. Would there be recommendation from staff on what that would be? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. And it generally is what the code mandates as a new property coming in. Okay. One, so. All right. Any other business for the commission today? If not, no. Miss White, did you have a question? Trent, you mentioned something last time about training. There was some kind of training you were working on. Right, and now that we, uh, as I previously <coughs> mentioned a few minutes ago, um, now that we have a new chair and vice chair, I'm going to be meeting with the chair to find out when a good time to meet uh, with all of you and if there's any certain topics they want to cover in this training. Um, once again, we're going to uh, just kind of reiterate the roles of the Planning and Zoning Commission uh, commissioners and uh, go, over that, go over that information for all of you and we'll be contacting you to see if there's any questions that you might want me to if I can't address at the meeting I'll address but that will be open to the public as well the training will do we require a motion and a second to adjourn yes sir okay I have a motion to adjourn so moved I have a second second I have a motion and a second all in favor aye all opposed same sign thank you <laughs>